What's up guys, Adam C here for Hidden Jackpots. Welcome to Parking Tips 2024 for Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. I am going to take you around and give you a few tips on where to park, when to park, and uh, things like that. I know you guys enjoy this and it's time I do another. Let's go. All right, for those of you that want to come to the Clifton Hill area, I am one block away from Clifton Hill on Ellen Avenue. You will no doubt drive down this road. You see those guys over there? They have their private parking lots. And as you can see today, it's $7 right now. It's a Sunday, it's two o'clock. And if you got here earlier, it'd probably be $5. If you get here later, it might be $10, might be $20, depending on the day. If it's a long weekend, it's gonna be even more. And then on this side, which you can't really see, is city-owned parking lot, which is a flat rate per day. Where I'm parked right now is on the street, and it's scan and pay. Scan and pay fluctuates just like these guys do. All my advice here is, again, like I've said, get out early, get your spot. If you're going to be at Clifton Hill, you're going to spend the whole day at Clifton Hill. So if you get here early, that's $5. You pay your $5 when you get there, spend the whole day on Clifton Hill, you come back, you already paid. You're gonna notice that that parking lot is no longer $5. So get out early. These guys are usually pretty good when I drive by. They're actually pretty cheap for how close they are to Clifton Hill. I mean, it's close. It's really close. So I'm gonna take you to the next spot. Maybe it'll be cheaper, we shall see. All right, guys, so right now I'm on Falls View Boulevard. As you can see, the casino is right there. The Hilton, it's a giant building over there. And the thing on this street, you'll notice it's a uh, QR code parking. Hopefully these cars aren't too loud. It's QR code parking, which may or may not be good because QR code, they can update the app that you gotta pay on like any time. The street, over there, which is Robinson Street, used to have parking meters and it was $10 flat fee for eight hours. I just noticed today that that has changed. And now Robinson Street also has the QR code parking. So, I mean, if you want to, why not pull over and take a scan of that QR code? Because I'm, you never know, it might not be a bad price. I haven't scanned the ones here. I'm gonna assume it's $10 because where is the guy? He's just down there. You can see it's $10 and one side of a sign says $5 and one side of a sign says $10. So you got to pay attention to that too. I tried to park there once because I saw the $5. I was like, that's a great price. And then when I got up there, he turned the sign around and said, no, no, it's $10. So you got to watch out for that too. They try and get you in with the $5 sign and once you pull in, they're like, it's 10 bucks. So, oh, I do have another one for you. The casino. Casino, you get the player's card, you play. If you play enough, you get free parking at the casino, which can come in handy. But again, sometimes it's $50 to park at the casino. You gotta play a lot in order to get that free parking. The Hilton, right there, right there. Where is it? The giant building, I have trouble pointing on this side. I don't know why, but the Hilton, park there if you're staying there on top of your room, what you're paying, you're also paying $70 to park per night, per night. So a little tip, park at the casino. It's covered, secure. And then when you leave, you can either, like I said, grab a player's card, do some gambling, get out of there for free. You can park there, I think, as many nights as you want. They're not gonna tow your vehicle. But yeah, and if you don't gamble and you have to pay $30 or even $50, still going to be cheaper than parking at the Hilton for your trip. It's just a little tip. And with that, let's head to the next spot. All right, here's probably one of the biggest tips I can give you if you got the time and if you're willing to walk a little bit. Right now, look behind me, like, where are you? Where am I? There's a field behind me, there's houses. If you're willing to walk, maybe 
10, 15 minutes, I am on Pier Street in Niagara Falls and there is free street parking. So if you got a chance to check some of the side streets, you will see that there are some fairly close side streets where you can park for free. I don't recommend overnight, but I do recommend if you're just gonna take the day, go down to Clifton Hill or whatever. Pier Street is literally pretty much in the center. If you go to my left, you can go to Clifton Hill. If you go to my right, you're gonna hit the Falls View Boulevard, go down to the falls, and then just take a nice walk back. It's not bad at all. Let's see, I'm gonna show you, if you take a look behind me, yes, you see some houses, but right there is the double tree. The double tree is on Falls View Boulevard. So like I said, literally, literally, it's like a block away from Stanley Avenue, which is the main thoroughfare to get off the highway. So I would recommend taking a look at some of the back streets. Do be cautious because yes, it is street parking. It's not monitored at all. So use caution, check your neighborhoods. There is a, some not so great neighborhoods around the area. But yeah, I think free parking's a pretty good damn deal. Excuse my language, sorry. All right, so let's go over the takeaways from this video. Shut the car off. First of all, probably most important, if you're parking on the street, obey the signs. You do not want to get a ticket. You do not want to get your car towed because you come back and it's gone. Where did it go? I have no idea. You're going to have no idea, especially if you're not from here. I'm from here and I have no idea where the cars go. So that's it. Pay attention to the signs. Number two, get out early if you're going to be parking because the parking will be cheaper. Earlier in the morning, less people out, less people parking, you're gonna pay less. And then when you come back to your car, you're gonna notice that the people pulling in are paying a lot more than you paid to park and they're getting less time. Number three, don't be afraid to check out the side streets. Don't be afraid to check out the side streets. If you got time, you don't mind walking a little bit, check out the side streets, free parking. Next one, the next one is coming up. Don't leave yet. Save. <laughs> so last but not least, you're gonna wanna get yourself a Niagara Parks Commission parking pass. These are $45 and they are good from January 1st to December 31st. So they're only good for Ontario residents and they must be mailed. My advice is also, because they're only good from January 1st to December 31st, get it as early in the year as possible because you wanna make the most out of that. That includes, I think, 18 parking lots along the Niagara Parkway, including the closest parking lot to the falls, which I don't know if you can see behind me, is Table Rock. I'm standing in the parking lot right now, so it's a little bit of a walk. Right now the parking lot's full. Another bit of advice, get there early because this parking lot fills up quick. If you don't have the parking pass, it costs $35 a day just to park at this lot alone, which is quite expensive. Again, Ontario residents only. Pick it up as early in the year as possible, $45. Check out the Niagara Parks Commission website in order to get yourself one of these passes. So with that, I'm going to leave you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll be coming to you with some more Niagara Falls tips, restaurants, hotel reviews, and more. So on that note, I'm out. Ciao. Be sure to check out these videos over here, over here, wherever they are. And I will see you in the next video.